Across Southwark, we have seen infilling and the building of rooftop homes, developments that are often disruptive to existing residents. We've got a couple of these developments in Newington and several more in the surrounding areas. Are there better ways of tackling the housing problem? It's, it's, these are not un uncontroversial, and a lot of people, a lot of people feel the lack of, their, of the loss of their green space, where their children can play. Um, and, and you know, I think I think it's it's an important part of quality of life, and it and it doesn't. I don't think you can argue that it provides good quality homes for people when they have no outside space and they're overking their neighbourhood. Yeah, it doesn't sound particularly okay, so great. It just sounds like a, a plan B, really, because they can't do anything with the developers. Because they're too powerful, they've got too much money, they can do what they want, basically. Mm. You cannot be using green spaces, because once you use, use green spaces, what is there for the children? What is there for the elderly that are retired? Come on now, you cannot keep using the green spaces. But not all of these homes do, um, you know, just are, then it's actually quite rare for them to just be on, you know, a park or a bit of green space. You know, often they're on garages or... Oh yes, sure, but I mean, it, it, the, 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 the case that I know best is the Kingston Estate. Mm -hmm. And in that case, it was partly on a garage, but the majority of it was on a large amount of the green space at the residence, um, the, a large part of that garden. And I don't think this is a sort of case of, of, of nimbyism at all. I, I, don't, I don't think it is a good solution to our housing problem. It is very complicated, of course, but there are options for building on um, brownfield sites. Um, there are options, as we said, for renovating um, council stock that has fallen out of use. There are, there are options, as you say, for using empty homes, and they seem to me to be the much better solutions so starting from planning permissions and starting with all the pipe works and everything, while if it's something already there, all you just need probably to drill the bellow, or maybe just to invest some money just to make the, the, the actual conditions of the empty house to look better, I don't know. It's, I'm also more time. Well, if the property is there, all they need is probably make some changes to make them uh, affordable for the new for, the, for the people who are on the waiting list. I don't know what's wrong, with, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my point of view. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, just to be clear, in Newington, there are no plans for rooftop. Yep. homes or yep. infill uh, at present um, and it's really important that you know that we do work with residents and there is consent through the planning process and engagement around this. Is there pressure for homes? Yes because there's a lot of people on waiting lists. Is there pressure to build new homes in green spaces for example? No, no. there isn't. She has options and she's not using her options. No, there must be a way of solution there sitting somewhere just to get on board and okay, let's do and carry on, but not damaging, you know, the green area. No. There's ways to go about this. What about like you and your children? Do you make a lot of use of the green spaces? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we the uh, every day. Yeah, <laughs> they'd I mean, be out using you know, just to be parks and, and there are no plans for yeah, three shops. anywhere we yeah, can really. Yeah, they, at present, um, lost energy. They need to go and burn that off. So. Important for us. I feel like no matter what you say or do, the Labour are still going to do what they're going to do. Well, any the government, they're still going to do what they're going to do. The agenda is there, it's been signed, sealed, and delivered and posted off. It's just, it's only afterwards you start hearing it and you're like, when did that happen? How did that happen? And how, how can we remedy this situation when it's it's too late. Uh, around this area, as I grew up, if I was to go away 10 years later and come back, I wouldn't recognise it. It has changed so much. You know, 16,000 people on housing waiting list, half of whom are children, 3,500 people in temporary accommodation. You know, I think we do have to find options for council homes. and. You know, we are an inner London, London borough. <laughs> like we all know what Southwark's like. We, you know, there are lots of houses here, but there still aren't enough. This is the, the condition of some of this temporary accommodation. <laughs> What's it like? They are pretty, I mean, one, someone was saying to me this morning how the one they were in just before they got this bit here, Muswell House, it was terrible. Like seriously, they they got rats coming in. No matter how much cleaning you do, when they put them in there, they had to do a lot of cleaning, scrubbing. God knows what was done in that place. They need, they can do better. 
is all I'm saying. They can do better. I think that the problem that the administration has got is selling this idea to residents on housing estates. Um, we've got s some of the, the, the most deprived people in the borough, some of the people who are in greatest need, and it's their open spaces. And the housing department to say, oh, look, we can, we can build on that green space, or that, that place isn't being used. It, I mean, maybe it seems like a really good idea when you're sitting in an office in Tooley Street or in an architect's office somewhere, but actually when you're living on a housing estate, and that amenity, that open space, and, and we've seen this especially, you, you mentioned the pandemic, during the pandemic, when, when people were often prisoners, effectively prisoners in their homes, to be able to go out into those open spaces and enjoy the amenity of that open space, whether you're a younger person, like a, a child kicking a ball around or, or whatever, or um, an older person who just wants to go on, the, on the, and sit on, the, on a bench near, near to where they live. Uh, on, on my estate, which used to be Newington, but the boundaries changed, it's in North Walworth now. Um, the, the, like the children's playground is like a real sanctuary for, mm. for the youngsters. They know that they're safe there. They're safe from like, all, the, all the nuisance that's going on that goes on at the Elephant and Castle. Their parents know they're safe and they're safe from, from bullying and stuff. And so the, those open spaces on the estates are, are really like a gem. Like I said to you, they're not living everyday normal life like every com working person is. Give them this place to live with their four children as a single mom for a year and see how they're going to cope. They will cover that in a different song.